Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of September 26, 2022. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy real estate sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buyer return of 5.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $41.26. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Valero Energy was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Valero Energy is a bear low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 7.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $105.16. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $97.89, unless is undervalued. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy MasterCard Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $350.26. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, American Express has a buy call strike price at $139, and a sell call strike price at $148. For this spread option, it will expire on September 30, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.99. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, JP Morgan Chase has a buy call strike price at $112, and a sell call strike price at $115. For this spread option, it will expire on September 30, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.04. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, PayPal Holdings has a buy call strike price at $89, and a sell call strike price at $90. For this spread option, it will expire on September 30, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.07. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. 
Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of real estate sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 11.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $238.26. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.01. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Moderna Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 8.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $121.01. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $1.83. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This is a new buy suggested butterfly option. On the table, Abbuy Incorporated has two buy calls strike price at $141, and at $145, and a sell call strike price at $143. This spread option will expire on September 30, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.39. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, Biogen Incorporated has a buy call strike price at $200, and a sell call strike price at $202.5. For this spread option, it will expire on September 30, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.42. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Boeing Company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 14.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $139.32. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.01. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Material sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Ecolab Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.0%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $157.8. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.01. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table. The Home Depot has a buy call strike price at $282.5, and a sell call strike price at $285. For this spread option, it will expire on September 30, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.05. Nike Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Nike Incorporated is a bear low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of minus 
you may expect now a buy return of 3.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $99. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $96.06, .06, unless is undervalued. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, Tesla Incorporated has a buy call strike price at $285 and a sell call strike price at $290. For this spread option, it will expire on September 30, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.8. Consumer Staples ETF was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Consumer Staples ETF is a bare low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of minus 0.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $70.92. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $69.43, unless is undervalued. Let's look at the stock's table of staples sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Philip Morris. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $93.18. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.08. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, Kraft Heinz Company has a sell put strike price at $32.5, a buy put strike price at $34, a buy call strike price at $35.5, and a sell call strike price at $37. This spread option will expire on September 30, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.34. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of technology sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy advanced micro devices. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 11.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $76.06. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Advanced Micro Devices was a previous stop by alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Advanced Micro Devices is a bare low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.0%. You may expect now a buy return of 11.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $73.71. .71. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $66.3, unless it's undervalued. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, Oracle Corporation has a buy call strike price at $66, and a sell call strike price at $67. For this spread option, it will expire on September 30, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.03. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Comcast Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 8.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $32.97. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.04. 
our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. T-Mobile US was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that T-Mobile US is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.0%. You may expect now a buy return of 5.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $139.25. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $132.32, unless it's undervalued. Utility Sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Dominion Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $80.36. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Bitcoin belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. There is a mild opportunity to buy Tron. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 8.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $0.0616. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Chainlink. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 15.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $7.75. Cardano was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Cardano is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $0.44, but we expect a possible buy price of $0.39. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $0.45, unless it's overvalued. Chainlink is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 4.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 15.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $7.75 but we expect a possible sell price of $8.79. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Chainlink if it is over 2.35% of your stock price trade. Cosmos was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Cosmos is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.8%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $13.65, but we expect a possible buy price of $12.83. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $14.25, unless it's overvalued. Litecoin was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Litecoin is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 12.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $60.04. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $52.96 unless is undervalued.
This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.